Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here on Lesson 299, Eternal Holiness Abides in Me. I want to look at several of those words. First of all, it's not so much eternal holiness abides in me. Holiness is the very fabric of my being. You would not say of a cotton sweater, cotton abides in the sweater. Cotton makes up the sweater. So if you took the cotton away, you would no longer have a sweater. So holiness is built into the fabric of all of us. The word eternal Eternal has nothing to do with time. It's this present here and now that has no beginning, no end, just constant bliss, so to speak. And all of these words are so small compared to the actual reality of it, but words are the best we can do. So this holiness of mine is far beyond my own ability to understand or to know. There's no intellectual way to talk about our holiness. Yet God, my Father who created it, acknowledges my holiness as His. Because how could it be otherwise? Roses pass on roses. Turtles pass on turtles. Holiness, which is the substance of our Creator, passes it on to us because we are unseparated from him or it. We are the expression of holiness. So our will together understands it, and our will together knows that this is so. It's certain. Father, my holiness is not of me. In other words, it has nothing to do with what I do or say or anything else. It is not mine to be destroyed by sin, the crazy idea that I actually could destroy it. That's what sin and guilt are all about, that I have ruined creation. How preposterous. It is not mine to suffer from attack. Illusions can obscure it. Remember, over and over, we say everything's already in place. We just can't see it. So all of our grievances and judgments and beliefs and separate things blind us but cannot put out the radiance of holiness or dim its light. It stands forever, perfect and untouched, and in it all things are healed, for they remain as you created them. And I can know my holiness, for holiness itself created me, and I can know my source, because it's your will that you be known. You see, the belief in guilt says, okay, I am so bad and so powerful that I can actually ruin holiness. I can ruin goodness. Crazy idea. We can make mistakes. It's a mistake to live and believe and act in an unloving way. That never touches the lovingness actually of you. There is no power that can overcome holiness and the truth wonderful, important lesson. You can't ruin yourself. You can refuse to acknowledge what you are, but you cannot change what you are. Really big, important lesson. Okay, ponder over that as you go throughout the day. It is impossible that you can harm or be harmed. Now, forms can appear to be harmed, but that's not the truth of anybody. You are not guilty. Think about that a lot today. You're actually harmless. You have not changed reality at all. I hope you find that very comforting. I certainly do. See you back here tomorrow. Bye.